All right, problem number six. Here I have the square root of x minus 2 plus 3 is equal to the square root of 4x plus 1. Well, gee, I can rewrite that, so it looks like this. The square root of 4x plus 1 is equal to the square root of x minus 2 plus 3. It just makes that easier if I have the 2 term on the right side. I'll show you why. So our next step then is to go ahead and square both sides. So I'm going to square both sides. The left side's easy. Taking, if you have a square root and you square it, guess what? They cancel each other out and you're left with 4x plus 1. This, on the other hand, we're going to do a little side work over here. So this is the square root of x minus 2 plus 3 times the square root x minus 2 plus 3. So let's go ahead and multiply those two expressions together. 3 times 3 is 9. It's plus 9. 3 times the square root of x minus 2 is equal to positive 3 square root x minus 2. Now I'm going to go to the bottom expression, go to the first term. So I go to the square root of x minus 2 times 3. Again, is another 3 square root of x minus 2. And then I go to the square root of x minus 2 times the square root of x minus 2. So I'm now multiplying these two together right here. And the square root of something squared is just the thing itself. So this just becomes x minus 2. Go ahead and add my columns. So this becomes x minus 2 plus 6 square root x minus 2 plus 9. I'm now going to combine my like terms. So I go negative 2 and 9. And I'll combine those. So I wind up getting now x plus 6 square root x minus 2 plus 7. So that's what's going to go right here. x plus 6 square root x minus 2 plus 7. So our goal again is to get the square root the second square root isolated by itself. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So now I have 3x plus 1 is equal to 6 square root x minus 2 plus 7. I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. So now I have 3x minus 6 is equal to 6 square root x minus 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So I go 6 square root x minus 2 over 6 is equal to 3x minus 6 over 6. So here I have just the square root of x minus 2. This actually can be rewritten as 3 parentheses x minus 2 over 3 times 2. That's what 6 is. These, 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 1 as a multiplier can drop out. So now we're left with x minus 2 over 2 is equal to the square root of x minus 2. Well, how do you get rid of a square root? You square it. So what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So we're going to square both sides. Okay, so taking this term right here, x minus 2 
quantity squared, the square root of x minus 2 squared is just x minus 2. This becomes x minus 2 times x minus 2 over 4. Gee, if I multiply both sides of the equation by 4, these 4's cancel. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And here I have 4x minus 8 is equal to, now foiling this, I'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4. Alright, so let's get this side, let's get the left side of the equation to 0. So I'm going to subtract 4x and add 8. Subtract 4x, add 8. So I have 0 is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 12. I can rewrite this trinomial as a binomial uh, product. So we have 0 is equal to x, uh, x minus 2 times x minus 6. So zero product rule tells me that when two things multiply together equal 0, that one or both of them are equal to 0. So we have x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 6 equals 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 6. Alright, so those are our answers for number 6.